Welcome back to Sengoku Basara. Today, we're going to be playing as Matsu, who is known as Bramble in Devil Kings. He is the wife of Toshi Ie, and she was also not playable in the English version. The last of four characters, actually. And she is a cloned character. Uh, she actually shares her uh, basic moveset with Kenshin. Um, so I'm actually excited to see how the differences in her moveset work. So let's go ahead and start her story up and just see how different things are. I wonder if her intro is any different from Toshi EA's, but I somehow doubt it. So we got our same places we can go to. Let's just go ahead and get Shingen out of the way. At 50, 21, uh, her stats look all right. Let's go ahead and pop everything on. And her first special move is summoning a bird. And, oops, and her second special move is... Oh my gosh, it's Dante's freaking, uh... It's like Virgil's, like, judgment cut. <laughs> or like a million slashes. Followed by a stinger. That's amazing. That's actually I wanna I wanna swap these. Can I swap them? Uh, I can't really take them off, so they're kind of stuck where they are. Oh, her intro is different. It starts from here. Okay, that was the best intro in the whole game. Absolutely. That, that was amazing. Alright, here come the horses. Did I block this? We're about to find out. No, you cannot. Okay. Right, let's try to take out uh, Yukimura as fast as we can. Ow. Ow. Holy crap. Okay, well, I really like this move. Ow. Alright, cool. We got Yuki Mura taken out really quickly this time. I didn't mean to let that play for so long. You know what, let's go, like, let's go ahead and just, like, kind of breeze through these levels. Um, I'm only gonna go down one of the paths instead of doing all three, but I will finish off all the guys out here. Much to my chagrin. <laughs> Yare, yare. 
Yada yada. Let's get moving. Okay, so so far I like her more than Kenshin. I don't actually remember if Kenshin had this move or not. Okay. All of my favorite enemies in one place. I love it. Hate the archer still. Dude, he's just standing there blocking, man. Alright, let's take a look at Matsu's uh, Sara art. Oh, it's the same as Tensions. That's kind of disappointing. I kind of hoping they'd at least change that. Well, this is absolutely the fastest we've ever done a stage because I just kind of sped through it. Like, did he just run? Dude, did that not count as actually beating Chingen? I mean, my sword's level 10 now, which is pretty cool. Alright, so... Oh, it looks like Shingen's getting taken out. Oh, never mind. Shingen's territory just expanded, that's all. <sighs> well, let's leave him be. Let's hope someone else takes him out. <laughs> let's go ahead and take out... Um... Let's go ahead and just take out Yoshimoto. I don't want to deal with Shingen anymore. I already fought him once, I'm not doing it again. I didn't get anything new, so let's press on. Oh, that's... I keep forgetting to swap those moves out. Alright, so same deal as usual. We're going to attack all the left gate here and open it up and then take the right path. <laughs> Gate's open now. Hopefully, uh, Yoshimoto stage is honestly pretty straightforward. There is a bit of extra pathing here and there, but it's not too big of a deal. It actually takes people out pretty quickly, which saves on a bit of time. Plus, I just noticed her Sara gauge is huge. I wonder if there's like a reason for that. Like maybe her uh her skill to like heal herself uses up the Basara gauge, maybe. 
That's the only reason I can see for why it would be so large. Uh, let's see here. That same deal, open the gate, take the other path instead. Just to, uh, ensure we get everybody. Don't hit my horse. Oh, that was close. It's close. <laughs> All those guys almost blew up on me. I think I can... Maybe after the next trip on the horse, I can probably abandon the horse. Not because I don't want to ride the horse anymore, but because getting on it's going to be kind of a... Uh, I'm going to be using more time getting on and off the horse. And also, that way the horse doesn't die. I don't want the horse to die. Alright, let's clear this out. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, there's so many shields here. There we go. I'm all for the cutscenes interrupting Yoshimoto's constant screaming. Alright. God, I hate archers. <laughs> I also hate these big guys. Hey, I actually got a hundred people. I wasn't trying to, but I did it. Alright. Interestingly, that guy didn't knock me away when he hit me. Maybe I got hit by something else, and then, like, I got iframes. Alright, here we go. Let's take out Yoshimoto. Alright, let's turn that camera. Oh my god, there's archers in both directions. Okay. No archers on camera now, so I don't have to worry anymore. Figuring out that uh, enemies off screen won't attack you was probably the best thing I discovered about this game, and it's unfortunate I figured it out so late into the series. Here we go. Alright, level 15, and we got our second up now, level 9. Ooh, that's a nice looking sword. Yeah, Shingen's gone. Ah, I don't have to fight him anymore. 
And Yoshihiro was taken care of. This is magnificent. Alright, let's go ahead and clear out all of this land of Dates. Masamunes. He's got a lot of lands. And then... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll take care of Itsuki up there afterward. Alright, second weapon is better. As usual, not gonna we're just gonna ignore Masamune. Well, after we beat this first battle against him. I keep forgetting I have to swap out my move. Party. All right, we got him. Oh, I got way yeah, turned yeah. around there. Yeah, I know. I, tech I guess technically you also get like some bonus experience if you actually do stop him. But I don't know. I, I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of uh a lot of other enemies if I do that. Also, damn, he's so far ahead. Just blaze past the guys. I'm really enjoying playing as Matsu. <laughs> all four of the characters they deleted from Devil Kings are all so good to play as. At least the uh, Masamune stage is just like one straight pathway. There's not really much than this, and even though there are like tiny branch points, it's like they're never anything. They're never anything big, you know? And, like, there's only ever, like, named officers on, like, one of the pathways, so you can just ignore the other one. Hello, second horse. No, my horse! I can't believe my horse is gone. I like to walk the rest of the way now. Let's leave that. I'm not that hurt. I'm gonna stop and kill every one of these guys so they don't blow me up. It's like probably the funniest reason I have to keep stopping. There we go. See, my horse just teleported here. That's all. I wonder if we can get the, uh, the achievement. Oh, 
Never mind. I was gonna ask if I could get the uh, the trophy for beating someone with a parry, and I accidentally killed Masamune. Alright. Ah, both my weapons leveled up. Level 18 and level 22. So I'm gonna guess the second weapon is still way better. Look at all that land we have now. Alright, let's take out Itsuki. Yep. I can't wait till I get a third move. Just so I can swap uh, this one over to my first slot. Ow. I, see, I'm using the wrong move again. I really love that they keep blocking because then they like stumble backward and fall out of the attack in general. Last guy down this way. Let's try in this stage to get the trophy for beating someone with a parry. I've only ever parried like one time. Ever. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull that off. I have to beat the stage with a parry. We got that gate open, but we're not going through it. There we go. This is probably, like, actually... Counting both versions of the game, and uh, anytime I play this game, like, in my spare time, this is honestly probably the stage I play the most. I keep the camera turned back, we have to double back. Get him, bird. Yeah, that bird didn't do anything to those guys. I don't know where they're going. Yeah, that bird's not being very helpful. <laughs> Oh god, dude. This guy keeps blocking and it knocks him out of my combo. I am not at all tired of hearing that. <laughs> Let's get her! Wow, that did like nothing. Why did it only hit her like one time?
At least taking her out normally was pretty quick. Come on, stop blocking, dude. Let's get this guy. You've got to be joking, dude. They like input read. I swear to God, they they're like input reading. They've got to be. It's like they don't even start blocking until I hit the attack button, dude. I think that's like no area of effect. Does it? Like, that's a very, like, pinpoint area of effect. Get all the way over here. Alright, let's take care of this last ambush now. I actually try to bundle them all up and just hit them all with my Basara art. Two of them, three, four, five. There we go. Let's let's see how this goes. Not all of them, but one. I don't know why that guy lived. I kill him? Where did he go? Get rid of all these hammers. Since I'm gonna be uh trying to parry uh Itsuki to kill her. I wanna get rid of as many of these annoyances as possible. There's like one more, but he's all the way over there. Maybe this will hit more than once. No, no, of course not. Let's try this. What's the timing on parrying? No, not that. That's for sure. Dude, it's actually kind of hard to parry her when she keeps using jump attacks. Let's get her life a little bit lower. You only have to do it like once. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I'm going to get it by constantly spamming, but if you stop using these jump attacks, maybe. Got her! <laughs> Oh, that was that was cool. Hope I get that trophy. Oh, both my weapons leveled up. Forty-nine for the first and thirty-three for the second. Did I get that trophy? I learned new moves. Nice. Hey, there it is. All right, we have uh, probably yeah two stages left if I don't get attacked. All right, Motonari time.
Well, that's pretty cool. But now I can do this. Uh... There, now we're starting off on the move I want to do. What if I should try getting up, taking them all out before they break through the gates? Let's see if I can do that. I was the wrong guy. Alright. One of them down, so let's go up here and just hurry behind the gate. That guy. That was close. Uh, I just want to try this out, just because the fact that I've, I don't think I've ever, like even in the English version, ever stopped them from breaking through the gates. Oh, well, there goes one of them. Still got two gates, so... We haven't failed the mission yet. Right, last guy. Please stop walking. There we go. Ah, uh, just blows up the gates anyway, huh? At the very least, it spawns all the enemies in. I don't have to do as much devil backing. Oh, for the love of God, stop blocking, man. Where is this guy? I heard the guy scream, and I didn't, I didn't see him anywhere. Oh, of course, there's muskets, too. Oh, by the way, I finally remembered what uh, Motonari's Devil King's name is. It's Oz. A-A-H-Z. That's a stupid name. I will say, I do like the fact that in this game, enemies can't attack you, like, if they're off-screen. I wish that applied to bomb soldiers, too. It kind of sucks that uh, you can still aggro a bomb soldier, even if, like, they're, like, way behind you and off-screen. Him out. Away. Oh, we got runs of the gate here because I didn't kill this guy earlier. Oh, dude, why did I kill him so fast? I hit him like twice and he's just dead. Uh, uh, random peons around are randomly deciding to get, uh, very aggressive. <laughs> uh -oh. See what I mean? I, I couldn't even tell that guy was over there. That guy's a different story. I just lost track of him. Dude, I'm like almost dead. These stupid bomb soldiers.
Hey, what's up, Toshi? Yeah. There's still more of them? Let's take this guy out now. There are so many bomb soldiers and rock throwers. Dude, why couldn't I hit him? <laughs> My sword just flew past him. finish these guys off. Let's get these guys right next to Motonari just to take them out too. Stab him right in the face. You know, I remember there being like a taunt button. Or is that only in like later Basara games? Hey, my sword leveled up again. Please don't get attacked. Thank God. All right. Final stage is Zavi. Do this. Uh. Whatever. I'm fine. Get through this love gate as soon. Oh, stop walking, man! I gotta get through here, and you keep getting out of my combo. Love gate done. Is he saying he's the love gate? Is that what that means? Watashi no love gate. Is that even what he's saying? But I hear the Watashi no. But is he saying love gate? Like he is. So he's saying he's the he's the love something. You know, I'd buy that. That sounds like something that Zavi would say. I got all of that out of the way. So let's get all these bomb soldiers taken care of. We gotta do this like a bit at a time. Just so I don't like lure them in from too many directions. Soldiers, so much. Ah, I missed him. Oh, he's gone. Ooh, I didn't realize I could just lure them into these. 
Wow, that changes everything. <laughs> Ow. Excuse me. Hey, fat parrot. Hey, buddy. Look at him. He's so happy. And he's so fat. Dude, this has like a... I can't get over the fact that this stage is like such a banger soundtrack. I love it so much. You mind like stopping that, dude? Mm. Ow. Did that break it? No. Got it. This guy here. Oh, dude, that's gonna blow up on me. Yes, let's go down here and grab our three treasure boxes. There's two. There's three. I love getting me some treasure. I said this before, but I really like getting goodies in these games. So, oh, we're almost there. We're almost done here. Do they say, do they just like sing cue ball in Devil Kings? I don't remember. It's been a while since I've played Devil Kings. Alright, we're done. We're in the gate now. Zavi Sama! Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that move, man? I didn't get to use that when playing as Zavi. Make this easy for me. What is that move? How come I didn't get to use that? It like locks on me, man. It's ridiculous. You can just dodge out of my attack. Just because he feels like it. Let's take out Mecha Zavi. Can I get him? Nope. I didn't get him. We did it! 
And my swords are even stronger. Level 95, that's pretty good. And we're level 6? We've done it. We conquered the land. Thirty-six minutes. That's a pretty quick run through. That was Toshi Ie's ending. They have the same ending? Atsu conquers the land and then has to make dinner and draw a bath for her husband? That doesn't seem fair. What gives? <laughs> that was the same ending. Oh well, that does it for Matsu's story, or Conquest Mode, Unification Mode, whatever it's called, as Matsu. So, we're going to be tackling somebody different in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.